This is it, sir. Big day ahead, Sergeant. Not to mention the night, eh? Make the most of it. We've got precisely 22 hours, 29 minutes and 35 seconds till we're due back on base. Do appreciate this, you know, Skip. You've given up your own leave to do the honours. My pleasure. I know I wasn't exactly your first choice. I wouldn't say that. If poor old Bayliss hadn't copped it. We're all family now, in the squadron. You're a Canadian national, but you've been living in France. Yes, near Bergerac with my mother's family. They sent me over to London just before the invasion. I was supposed to get passage back to Montreal. Don't volunteer information. Answer only the question you're asked. Sorry. You speak the language fluently? Bien sûr, toute ma vie. Bon. We'll call you Cécile. My name is Mariette. We'll call you Cécile. Where the hell have you been? So sorry. It's got waylaid. By who? Some nosy Parker reported us for blackout violations. Now let's take a look at you. Something old. Mm-hmm. Something new? Something borrowed. Hey. Now something blue? Extension 243. Hello, extension 243. Can you come out to play? Lawrence. Who else? No, don't answer that. What do you want? I'm in town. 24 hour pass. Meet me. Ritz? Or the Savoy? Before we all get stuck into the spread, I'd just like to say a few words. Thank you. I haven't known George for long, so young Violet here is probably very pleased that I don't have any risque stories to tell. <laughs> but when you're 4,000 feet up in a wimpy... That's a Wellington bomber to you civilians. You soon find out what a man's made of. And George here is solid sterling. Skip. No, it's true. I couldn't wish for a more diligent wireless op. And he's a pretty handy air gunner when the chips are down. And he's a great skipper. But enough of this mutual admiration society. Violet, you picked a good one. And George, you lucky bastard, the voice of Gracie Fields and the looks of Jesse Matthews. <laughs> so, let's all raise a glass to the bride and groom, to Flight Sergeant and Mrs George Abrahams. The happy couple. The happy, the happy couple. couple. <laughs> uh, don't want to put a dampener on proceedings, but it may be as well to go easy on the sauce. Tomorrow's up. 
It's the big one. Word has it they're putting 200 craft on standby. 200? My old man's in Whitehall. There was some cabinet briefing a few days ago. Churchill says the gloves are off. Civilian raids. Since Coventry, it's all fair game. Dinah. Miss Dinah, sorry. The Honourable Dinah Cornwallis. Flight Sergeant George Abrahams. Congratulations, Sergeant. I hope you don't mind my gate crashing your nut deals. Well, not at all. Any friend of Flying Officer Harcourt is a friend of mine. Um, there you are, miss. Excuse me. Not exactly the Ritz. Sorry. Chap's wedding day. Family bombed in the East End a couple of months ago. He's got no one. Well, in that case, never mind this cheap champagne. Mix me up a very large gin and it. But who could know one day ago what you'd become to me? A secret code, the love we saw. Fish paste. Delightful. Dinah. Mariette. Dare say we're all learning to become more ingenious these days. Yes. One might see it as a positive challenge. Indeed. This war could be the making of us. Thank you so much for today and for being a mate these last few months. I don't know what I'd do without you. You're going to hate me. I have to go away. No. When? Tomorrow, first thing. I'm joining the first aid nursing yeomanry. The fanny? <laughs> you, mm -hmm. nursing. I know. <laughs> I just want to do something more meaningful than standing about in feathers. Well, I'm going to miss you. You'll be fine. You're a married woman now. <laughs> 24 hours in your arms. The walls upstairs are paper thin, you know. We're best out for a noisy ride tonight, then. <laughs> Can't bear to think you'll be going back so soon. It's no different than yesterday, or the day before. Yeah, but the odds shorten, don't they? Every time you go up. You can't think about that. Any idea where? Don't tell us why. Until the last minute. But if it was something big. Well, what about you, eh? Hey? I have to join Ensa. You could be off anywhere in the world. It's just an audition so far. Entertaining the troops. You have to watch out for them fellas on the concert parties. <laughs> they tend to bat for the other side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Lavatory. They're just downstairs on your left. Not the only fella for me. So you damn well better come back. It'll take more than Adolf Hitler. I'm a survivor, me. <laughs> come on. Bridesmaid and best man. It's traditional. Your girlfriend's here. Not actually in the same room, though, at this moment. We move fast in the RAF. Top up, sir. Yes, please. Not for me. Keeping a clear head for manoeuvres. Thank you. Quite the adventure. I wonder, how does your family feel about it? I don't know. I sent them a telegram. Forgive me, but are you quite sure? Life's too short to wait. He's the one. Really? A man of his background? Background? Mrs. Abrahams. Are you 
you scared? You get used to it. The nerves. I mean, tell the truth, it's the times you get blase that you're going to cock up. Do you wish you weren't called up? Dad's side coming from the pogroms in Russia. Mum's side stuck in Germany now. No. I'd rather go down fighting and wait for whatever's coming. Me too. My uncle in Bergerac, he lost his job in the civil service. He passed a law now, borrowing juice from office. And there are rumours. Always swarm together, don't they? Their sort. Nevertheless, he's a good chap. Got balls. And he's really very sharp, remarkable head for maths. Yes, well, that's their mercantile nature, isn't it? Wily. Cunning. Quite the little viper, aren't you, Dinah? What is it you do at that ministry of yours? Darling, you know I can't say. Careless talk costs lives. Funny thing. We're fighting the Hun, but my ancestors were from Hanover, much like our dear kings, and his were from Berlin. Not so different, really. Every difference. His. My husband's Jewish. Yes. What makes you think I'm not? Well, you don't look. No, I don't, do I? But looks can be deceiving. I mean, you look like a lady. My father was a coal miner. He threw me out for wanting to be a singer. Mam does as she's told. I haven't seen either of them in two years. Do you think I care what they think? Do you think they'd be bothered by me marrying a Jew? Come on, Vi, let's not get into all that, eh? I'm sure the lady meant no offence. Can I get you a top up, miss? What are we fighting for? We're fighting against Herr Hitler. Yes. And Hitler hates the Jews, doesn't he? He'd get rid of them all if he had his way. Jews have a stranglehold on the world's business and industry. I don't quibble with Herr Hitler's economic strategies or the way he chooses to run his own country. It is simply our goal to thwart German imperialism, to protect our own borders and our own laws. So it's not about his beliefs, then? You'd shake his hand and offer him a cigarette, would you? As a matter of fact, I did meet him once. Before the war, of course. Clammy little man, smelt like sauerkraut and liver dumplings. You disgust me. Do I? I love my country, Mrs. Abrahams. I'm an English patriot. If that disgusts you, I suggest you examine your own loyalties. I think it's time we made a move. Early start tomorrow. I love George. And he loves me. That's all that matters. Not what race his grandmother was born or whether he goes to synagogue. I'll call for you in the morning, Abrahams. Well, we've neither of us got anyone now. Except each other. We decide who we are. Je m'appelle Cécile. Come on. Oh, cheers. When I come back, we're going to have a home of our own. And kids. Yeah, lots of kids. <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> We'll have a family, though, won't we? To go on and on. Not Jewish or Gentile. Just us. 